To show you an exclusive behind the scenes look at how this block certified radio show goes down, man. But let's get back to the music. Talk about quick. hits and, and, and staying. T.I., man. T.I. Uh, has recently dropped that uh, Trouble Man Heavy in the Head or Heavy as the Head album. And it actually went number two on the yeah. Billboard charts, ladies and gentlemen. But here's why I started having a discussion with Roro about it that it actually only sold 179,000 physical copies, which yeah. to me. Isn't like a big splash. You would expect more like two hundred fifty thousand coming if, from T.I. But see, if you go back and check Rick Ross's shit, Rick Ross and them, not to uh, go off that subject, but the subject that you're talking about, the amount of uh, numbers, some of these people they fucking drop when nobody else is dropping. So as long as you outsell, you know, have the Yourself? most sales, then <laughs> then you're number one. No, it's right. like say you outsold the guy by thirty copies and and you only sold a hundred thousand copies and you're number one, you get to claim that number right, one. Right, right. So that's what happens in the situation. Yeah, he sold a hundred and some and he's in second, you know what I'm saying? I don't know who beat him out, was it or like an Uh I didn't check, I didn't get all that. I just know T I was number two on the but, board uh, this charts, which at this, this point, hey, it's not an L, it's not an L. But this my concern was, was, and this is where we get into hip hop, is like, you know, he he should have sold two hundred fifty thousand easy easy easy. He should have sold two hundred fifty thousand. He's been on VH1. We, he's got his own TV show. He's been doing you know his groundwork, hooking up with the right people. He's got his uh you know uh, hustle gang clothing going, which is a good look. I thought that was pretty tight. You know like what was missing? What do you think was missing? Nothing. It's just in the age that we're in, that fuckers download the shit. I'm. He might well, have look, sold just those physical copies, but fucking there's more people in the street bumping that shit. Well, here's the thing. Here's how I see it, and this is how I was telling Roro, like, you know, I don't know. I don't feel like this project had those T.I. hits. Like, like we had mentioned, some people, you know, they try to change it up and say, I got to freshen up, and then you don't get what you expected, you know, from the people, the core fans, you know. We said Slim Thug went already platinum when he fucked with the <laughs> Farewell. That didn't work, but he came back. Yeah. And gave us that Texas sound, and look it, he's fuck. We still fuck with. Him. I thought, I thought, for Ti being in the game for as long as he's been, this project couldn't have been more fucking solid than it is. You know what I'm All saying? Right. Because yeah. you know, when an artist has been in the fucking game for ten plus ten years, of you know, you gotta fucking he's ten years away from when he fir first came into Andrew. the game. He's been everywhere, traveled everywhere, got cars, got houses. Got TV a lot show, of shit. Got clothing. Yeah. So for for him to fucking be able to fucking bring a street fucking CD after everything this motherfucker's been through, you know what I'm saying? I fucking gave that fucker a ten. There you go. Cause I mean that 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 uh what was it? Jump back, tr uh, get the trap, jump back. back, jump it. That song was fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? And it is. You know what I'm saying? There's some other cuts on there that sound fucking good. And and like I said, it sounds to me it sounded like. As close as you can get to the to the fucking uh, old Ti, you know there what I'm you saying? There you go. Okay. So that, that's well, I guess I'm opinion. expecting the single that that one single to knock it out well, yeah, the park. You, you the know? Fucking radio, you <laughs> that's why you. No, but that. but seriously, I mean, I mean, Ti has proven he can do that shit, though. You know, he can do it. Yeah. It, well, it's like it's like Fifty said. Sometimes it, it's hard to fucking give you that vintage or that fucking. You know, like their first album when they first came out, because at that point they ain't got shit. They, they're right. fucking giving you everything they fucking got. Yeah, yeah. And that's why you can feel it come across their fucking music. And that's what I'm saying for for Ti for being all all this time in the fucking game and having what he's having. A hundred seventy nine thousand copies sounds like yeah, yeah. All right, give him some fucking all right. And I do. That. I do. I was just hoping for that motherfucking yeah. hate. No, and, and I'm, I'm not. I'm not something. saying that you're fucking wrong for you know thinking that. But it's just a lot of people you know nowadays download that shit. I'm pretty yeah. sure. And you I'm know, sure that has something to do with it as well. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Everybody shout out to Ti. Shout out fucking. to the OVH one movie he's been doing. Like seriously, the guy's been making moves. And that's why I bring up the fact that at this point, you would think with all T.I. has been giving the people, like, you would at least get 250000 You know what I mean? You would at least get yeah. that. But you know what? I like the music. I'm digging the project. Ain't nothing wrong with the project. I just feel like, yeah, where sure, did everybody sure. go? Yeah.